I'm going to start by telling you the 10 things that all empaths need in order to be empowered and balanced and feel really their best. Then I will tell you about my memory trick, which is super helpful if you want to memorize anything or remember anything, including these 10 tips. So first, it is super imperative that we keep our central nervous systems calm. And I have a little, wanted to show you what I'm talking about. Calm is just a brand of magnesium. And magnesium, as I'm sure you've heard me talk about in my other videos, is really important for us to uh, stay out of an inflammatory state. But that is not good for our bodies or our minds, but we tend to go there because we burn through magnesium so fast. So that's the first thing. Uh, second is empaths need water. What I mean by that is the ocean or a lake or even a swimming pool, a bath, maybe a shamanic bath. Um, those are all things that empaths really, really, really need in order to feel restored and rejuvenated. So make sure you take a vacation to the beach. Uh, the third thing that empaths and highly sensitives need is some alone time that's either used to be creative or quiet, just to process through whatever we've been through since we last had alone time. Um, other people can be particularly draining for highly sensitive people and empaths. So just creating um, every day some alone time is really helpful. The fourth thing that highly sensitive people and empaths need are vacations. And everybody needs vacations, I get that. But uh, us empaths, we actually need a particular type of vacation. It really needs to be a vacation that is restorative and relaxing. So like I said, take a trip to the ocean, just lay on the beach and relax. Ideally, we would have four one-week vacations a year, and that is based on Elaine Aaron's research, and she is really knowledgeable about highly sensitive people. Yeah, so four a year, and if you do, like, let's say, go to Manhattan for a week, Great, that's an awesome vacation, but you're gonna need a vacation from your vacation because as a highly sensitive person or empath, Manhattan can be totally draining. So um, make sure you have four weeks a year that are relaxing vacations. The fifth thing that highly sens sensitive people and empaths absolutely need is eight hours or more sleep a night. And I know when we get in that fight or flight state that a lot of us tend to be in frequently, it's really hard to sleep even though we're completely exhausted. I guess the best I have, best advice I have for that would be to be in bed for eight to 10 hours, whether or not you're sleeping. It really does help to go to bed at the same time every night and wake up or get up at the same time every morning. The sixth thing we need is to remember to trust our intuition, guys. Even if we don't fully understand what it's telling us, we need to pay attention to it and trust it. Otherwise, we're going to end up feeling crazy. The seventh thing that we absolutely have to have as an empath or highly sensitive person is, well, this is actually what we need to not have, which would be energy vampires and toxic people. So people that take and take and take and never give back, or people that we find particularly draining, even if we don't know the reason why, it's okay to cut them out of your life. In fact, it's for the best. You will not be able to stay healthy with an energy vampire in your life on a constant basis. The eighth thing that empaths and highly sensitive people really need is other empaths and highly sensitive people. Uh, they're the only ones that are really going to understand us, understand why things, particular things bother us. Um, and you guys, you can't get better support than from an empath or highly sensitive. They're the most loving, kind, wonderful people human beings on planet Earth. So make some friends that are empaths. And if you don't know quite how to do that, go to my website at um, happyempathcoach.com and join one of my groups because people make 
lifelong friends there. Number nine is we really need to eat three meals a day, every day, and each meal should have protein. That is an absolute must for us to feel our best. And finally, number 10, and I will preach about this till the end of my days. We can choose to pay attention to many things. The news, crime shows, scary movies, those roller coasters, those things are not great for empaths. I know they can be enjoyable, but what we feed our brains is what we become. So, you know, the more negative or, I don't know, dark or creepy something is, you probably, I would say stay away from that. I, and I'm not ashamed to admit this, I have not watched the news in probably 15 years. And that's because it would make me unhappy. Um, so I highly advise you to be careful about what music you listen to, um, what kinds of shows you stream, you know, YouTube videos. Stay with things that are funny or light or creative or happy. Uh, and that's what you will end up feeling then. And that's hugely important. It has made all the difference in the world for me. So now we are on to my memory device and how you will never forget these 10 things ever again. So we start with the number one, obviously, and we pick an object that rhymes with one. So I chose gun, but you could choose bun, fun, done, I don't know, anything that rhymes with one. And we go through with number two, you could pick shoe or anything else that rhymes with the number two and so on and so forth. So let's get a little bit of a better idea how this is going to work. So once all of your numbers are associated with rhyming words, we can move on to the next step. It's pretty simple. Let's use number one as an example. So number one, I associated with a gun. So all I have to do next is use the gun in my mind's eye to come up with some sort of an image that I will remember associates the gun with the first thing an empath needs, which is magnesium. Easy peasy. So number two on our list was associated with shoe, and I wanted to use a shoe to remember that I, as an empath, need to be on the water. And this is the silly, ridiculous photo I thought would instantly remind me about water. Number three was associated with tree, and with a tree I just wanted to remember that I needed some alone time. For lovely number four, I have this beautiful picture of a door to remind me to take a lovely beach vacation four times a year. Oh, yeah. Middle of the list here. Number five, associated with a beehive. And do you know how hard it is to find someone sleeping next to a beehive? There's nothing on Google. This is the best I can do to remind me to fall asleep and stay asleep eight to ten hours every day. Sticks. Well, this wasn't my first idea of what sticks would look like, but these incense sticks do have the title Intuition on them, so clearly that's what I'm going to remember. Here's where I get more creative. Number seven, with heaven is supposed to remind you to get rid of toxic people. Let's take a moment for an up close of Jesus going, ugh, to the energy vampire. Oh yeah. This will absolutely keep me reminded to get toxic people out of my life. I hope it works for you. Number eight was gate to remind me that I need to be around other empathic people. 
Hence the three maybe empathic children crying. Now I am not saying that all em empaths or highly sensitive sit around and cry all day, but we are highly sensitive and sometimes we just might cry. Don't forget to cry around some other empaths. Number nine is to remind us all to eat three meals a day, throw in a couple snacks, and to have a lot of protein. Protein at every meal is really important for empaths and highly sensitives. Last but not least, and certainly my favorite, is Ten, which I associated with Hen, who's thinking, I've been watching the news, it's so depressing. Chickens are living in deplorable conditions, being fed candy and antibiotics. I'm so depressed, I don't want to end up like them. And he's thinking about and becoming what he's thinking about. Process chicken for sale in the local grocery store. How sad. I really hope you loved this video. Don't forget to hit the red thumbs up and hit subscribe. It would really help me out. Let me know in the comment section if you want any videos on any particular subjects.